Welcome back to another episode of Leading Legal, a social media podcast for the legal support professionals and for attorneys and everyone of the like. Guys, if you just want to learn about social media, tune in each and every weekday where I will be discussing uh, the different social media platforms and marketing in general. My name is Michael Reed. I am the podcast server. And so today is Twitter Tuesday. So I just want to welcome you to Tuesday if you're listening to this in the morning. And uh, I like to start each day with uh, with a new podcast episode. And it kind of helps me focus my day and what I'm going to be focusing on. So Twitter Tuesday is all about how to use microblogging. Um, this is a concept that not a lot of people understand. Uh, people who use Twitter are kind of generally around the same as uh, they're in the they're in the generation just after Snapchat. I mean, just after Instagram, but before Snapchat uh, is the generally believed that that is the age group that uses Twitter. Um, however. You want to look to Twitter uh, if you're a business owner for different purposes, primarily for um, customer support. A lot of businesses use Twitter to be able to um, find potential customers. The way that I use Twitter actually is for content creation. But today what I wanted to talk about is how you can use Twitter for um acquiring customers so there's an interesting thing about both Twitter and Instagram okay and since we're talking about microblogging um, people like to do their rants on Twitter anybody who knows President Trump regardless of your political affiliation uh, President Trump loves to post things on Twitter and he uh, he he'll rant he'll put anything and guys that's how you need to use Twitter Um, obviously you don't want to say some things (laughs) anyway, you want to make sure you're saying things that are professional if this is your business Twitter page. But what I'm saying is you, if you, if it's professional, right above the the bar of professionalism, um, you're going to post it to try to see, it's almost like a, a, a polling tool. You know, if you have 20 things in a day that you want to post, you post all of them. And then the ones that get the best as you grow your following and you have a couple thousand, 10,000, you know, you get a lot of followers, you'll be able to poll your posts and see which one, the t- what the top posts are. Then you take the top posts and then you put them on your Instagram and Facebook. Okay, this is, this is how you utilize Twitter to be able to grow your following overall. Um, it's like I said before last Tuesday, it's a le- like a bunch of people in a loud room all shouting. So Twitter, so the second thing, so microblogging, people say everything that they've been thinking about on Twitter. That's where they go. So how do you find customers using Twitter? All right, this is how you do it. You go on, both Instagram and Twitter are great for hashtag searches. Um, I haven't found that to be very true with Facebook, but their search tool isn't as good as it used to be. But for Twitter, you can go on there and you can search hashtag um, let's say you're a lawyer and you want to, you, you're a criminal defense attorney or something. You might go on hashtag Mary Jane, right? Hashtag marijuana, hashtag, um, you know, what's the jailbird? You know, I'm in jail again. Like search the things that your clients might be talking about. You know, if you're an attorney, you know, personal injury, you know, injured on the job. Workman's comp. I got denied workman's comp again. Mm -hmm. These are the kinds of things that you're going to comment on. Guys, Twitter is an awesome tool. Use it to your advantage. And guys, check out leading.legal for any more tips. If you want to subscribe to the blog and we're here for you, I'm here to help. Um, We'll see you tomorrow for Website Wednesday. I'm Mighty Mike, the podcast server. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.